four-time state champions in Kentucky. There's not a lot of them, but our guest here today holds the distinction of being one of the select few, and he dominated the 220-pound weight class 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015. Sir, if you would, tell us who you are. Uh, my name is Austin Myers. I started at Campbell County High School in um, University of Missouri. And we'll talk about the University of Missouri. I'm glad you wore that shirt. But <laughs> the uh, So we met with your brother earlier, and he told us that you guys started off in Ohio. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask, on your side of it, what gets you into wrestling? Like, how do you find the sport of wrestling? Um, I think me and my brother, both growing up, we just watched WWE. He said the exact same thing. I swear he did. Yeah, so we both watched WWE. My mom was a pro wrestler. So we just Wait, saw... wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Your mom was a pro wrestler? Yeah. He didn't say that part. Yeah, my mom used to pro wrestle like WWE. Stuff. No kidding. Yeah. What was her name? Uh, Electra. That's, this is going to be the best video of the series. <laughs> I didn't know your mom was a professional. I had no yeah, idea. Yeah, she used to pro wrestle. So. I thought, like, did she do, like, any big time, like, WWF, WCW? Um, it was, like, smaller events. I, think I got she you. in WCW once in Pittsburgh. Really? Yeah, they have, like, wow. guest, guest people come Wow. Yeah. I did not know that, man. That's awesome. That's, yeah. this is, okay, this is my favorite <laughs> video. I didn't know that your mom was a professional wrestler. Okay, so back on track here. So you started off WWE, and then, like, when is it? When does it click? Oh my gosh, just something I can do in school. We just saw flyers come through our school. I don't. I got you. No, I mean that, we, that's. We took them home. It was at Corrine, mm -hmm. uh, and we started wrestling in Corrine, which is in Ohio. Mm -hmm. so. And if I'm not mistaken, I could be off, but the, it's, it's the Corrine Cardinals. Yep. Is that okay? That's what I thought. I thought I remember seeing like a football game or something on ESPN. They played yeah, years they really years football. ago. So you start off in Ohio. How does your Ohio like? All four of your high school years went to Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Did you compete on like the varsity team as eighth grader, seventh grader in Ohio? Or how'd that go? Um, they don't have varsity. Okay. But I was a so I won two elementary state titles, two mm -hmm. or three, and then I got second middle school my sixth grade year, one state seventh and eighth grade year. Wow. So you coming in though, I mean you were in twenty twelve, I mean the message boards were popular, uh, rankings were popular. It's like mm -hmm. you said, people knew who you guys were. You mm -hmm. knew who you and your brother were coming into Kentucky. There, there wasn't no hiding. You, you couldn't just sneak in and be like, hey, you know, we're going to sneak up. No, everybody knew, oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, Austin and Stephen Myers are coming to Kentucky. So, and you come to what, – what made you choose Campbell County? Well, we were at Grant for a couple months, but mm -hmm. me and my brother didn't really like living out in the – country that much or, i got you we're from the city right from cincinnati i got you so and then Kellen kind of just better at sports I, so. I i i get it i completely understand so you come in to your high school state undefeated ranked number one in the state there's no i mean no question of who's who's the man here if you will so we start off the day the, the tournament if you will you won't get a pin over jacob purvis from montgomery county two minutes and 40 seconds you go on to the second round, you get a fall over Zach Ferris of Ohio County, 44 seconds. You, in the quarters, you get a major decision win over Chris Fitzpatrick of Anderson County, 15 to 5. Now, I was going to ask you about this one. In the semis, it says you get a, uh, an injury default over Wesley Morris from Warford County. Do you remember anything about that? Um, if you don't, that's fine. I just was curious. I want to say I tweaked his knee. Mm -hmm. I don't really recall. I think I had him in a cradle at one point, too. So. Okay. I mean, it was going to be a, probably a pin either way. Yeah. Just, I just didn't know what was going on with that. Now, you get to the finals. You are wrestling Drew Newberry from LaRue County. We're not going to tell you the score. We have it. We're going to watch mm -hmm. along with it. Had you wrestled Drew before? Do you remember? If not. I did not. I just know that someone said he'd won state previously. I got you. And like I said, you're going in. Campbell County is way ahead of in the team uh, standings. You just watched your brother win. You watched one of the enters win. A couple other guys been in the finals. This is the uh, – turns into the Austin Myers show pretty much. <laughs> pretty much of, of a preview of, of things to come for the next couple years. So we're going to go back to the horse park, watch you win your first state championship, man. Let's go. You've got Joe Catan on the whistle. I've actually wrestled him before. Catan? Yeah. How'd that go? 
Uh, I'm pretty sure he competed. It was an I, open tournament. I was going to say, I know he competes <laughs> still, but you got Joe's in his 60s. You yeah. got to think, man, he's still out there banging at 60. So there you go. I was going to ask you what your go-to takedown was, but you just did a slide by. Yeah, I remember this. I've never been once or twice as much. And you had Mason also win it this year. Mm -hmm. The uh, no, your brother. Oh, there's some aerials. Yeah, let's try to go for the high crotch to the half. Yeah, I was gonna. Say, when we get to your 2014 video, I'll I'll tell you a, a story about. Mm. Uh, watching you in, in the, uh, I think it was the quarters or semis, one or the other. Now, when you're on top here, are we just looking just to grind somebody to death, or are we looking to go for a turn? What we're we looking here? for a spiral ride into mm -hmm. a cheap tilt right here. So I got a lot of free points off this move right here. <clears throat> but I was always looking for spiral. You look at ain't cool. Um, yeah, it's good fly, and I go for a cheap tilt. Yeah. But I probably, I guess, I'm trying mm -hmm. multiple times. I don't ever get any back ones off at this match. Ooh, power, man. And while we're kind of got a low in the action, talking about fourth time state champions, we've met with uh, Joe Carr Jr. from Woodford County, Harrison Courtney, Woodford County, uh, Cole Thomas from Rowell, Isaac Knable from St. Xavier. We did a memorial video for Robbie Clarkson who passed away from Connor, four-time state champion. So we've been able to meet with, there's only a, we, we've talked to Brock, we're gonna do Brock's videos when he comes in, and we've talked to um, Bryce Schaefer's family. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do Bryce's memorial when we go out to Union County. So, man, it's a very select, very select crowd. Yeah, there's not many. Right, end of the period, you're up 2 nothing, I believe. Your choice. You defer. And he's going to take down. Now, your brother said that you guys had a habit of, or not habit, but a practice of dyeing your hair for the uh, state tournaments. Yeah, that was when, like, a lot of younger kids do that, and our yeah. whole team would do that. So, um, I think we did that for you, and we're at Prodigy, everyone dyed their hair blonde. I don't remember if my hair was dyed right here. I try for a little tilt there, couldn't he roll back through? Mm. Yeah, it's probably like this the rest of the period or the whole match. <laughs> yeah. I think I do another slide by though. I think it was four to one. I can remember. Mm -hmm. All right, got stalling on the bottom. I should come for for a cradle right there. The, uh, I guess you and Mason were practice partners. Oh yeah. Okay. I was gonna say that was a heck of a heck of a practice room. Yeah, we got in here late though. I don't think we um, we only got it. We got in the Kimmel County two or three weeks before mm -hmm. districts started. So still though, I mean, you got 220 state champion Mason, heavyweight state champion. Mm -hmm. I mean. I don't, there might be a, another team that had a heavy and a 215 in the same season. Right. But there can't be many. I mean, there really can't be too much. Yeah, a lot of teams don't have really good upper weights. Mm -hmm. so. All right, so he banged him for stall. Once you get another stall point, or he gets a stall point called against him. Were you a... Like a natural 220, did you have to cut? Were you wrestling up here? 
Mm, I, I probably like one. I don't even know if I weighed over 200 right here. Really? I might have. My goodness, man. If not, I was like two, 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 three. Because we had missed the weight search because we had transferred high school. Or okay. Something like that. I got it you. Let me get on 97. But I don't think it mattered. Mm -hmm. No, it wouldn't have. <laughs> I don't, it wouldn't have mattered. Who? I'm trying to think who won 195 this year. I don't know off the top of my head. Now on the bottom, the first time you've been down, are you just straight stand up, get away? Because mm -hmm. he's not gonna hold you. Ain't no I don't way. think. I don't think anybody held me down in high school. I don't remember. I know. Um, guy we've met with already, Chris Dunn from Woodford County, three times state champion, 97, 98, 99. He was a louder weight, though. He said that he never had any near fall scored on him his entire, entire career. I don't think you did either, did you? Uh, I don't remember. Probably not. Okay, I, I just didn't know if you remembered that or not. Because I don't say, I like to see the person that did put you on your back. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not it, in like. Was it Andre the Giant or <laughs> Brock Lesnar or somebody? If it was, it wasn't any like. Season, seasonal tournaments, yeah. maybe internationals. I don't, I don't think so even then, though. No. Mm -hmm. Tried for a little, little trip there. I don't think he was. He's got the biggest knee brace on I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he really goes for much. Go do something here. Uh, heck of a snap down. There it is. Nope. Push him out of bounds. There can't be too much longer left in the period here. You know, I'm sure if I was another year older, I'd probably have tried more this match, but. It and more attempts. I'm sure my other mags have a lot more attempts to take down. Mm -hmm. And there's the end. That's your first state championship. 4-0 decision. I think I've got it wrote down on the back here. That's, it was on, I think, on your, on your brothers. There he is getting his his state runner up medal. Mm -hmm. There's Coach Van Camper giving you yours. Your first of four trips to the top. And also in 2012, Campbell County wins the team title. And Coach Van Camper brought out the, the team state championship trophy. Man, it was a heck of a – hold on to it for while they give it to you. It was a heck of an effort. It was Campbell County's fourth uh, state championship, 1990, 91, 2004, and 2012. And, man, you, were, you, and, you and your brother both were big parts of that. Uh, I think Garth, uh, Mason, and it's the collective. It's the collective. Yeah, we had a lot. We almost had every weight class place, and, I think. This and year. Sean, uh, Foz was. Sean, Paul, was, Hamilton. Yeah. yeah. And so there it is, man. You're first of, of four. So we're not going to let this go on any farther. We're going to end this one here. We're going to see you guys in 2013. We'll see you there.